of Beijing's steps to support the world's second largest economy appear to be having results. China's GDP growing more than expected in the third quarter, despite continued drag from a shrinking property sector. The country's officials say recovery is getting back on track. A third quarter GDP expanded 4.9% on your beating analyst estimates, but it did slow from 6.3% in the second quarter. Other indicators also reflected signs of improvement. Industrial output and retail sales in September were both better than expected, following a raft of support measures. The jobless rate was also at its lowest in nearly two years, but growth in fixed asset investment eased to 3.1% in the first nine months of this year. Much of the drag coming from property investments, which fell at a worse than expected pace of 9.1% in that period. Wall Street brokerages have raised their 2023 forecast for China's economic growth. JP Morgan expects China's GDP to grow 5.2% in 2023. That's up from their previous estimate of 5%. The official target, of course, uh, in Beijing of 5% as well. Nomura has raised their estimate to 5.1% from uh, earlier 4.8%. A select was a China's economy is likely to struggle for a while yet. Real estate remains a major risk with home sales crumbling and developers facing acute liquidity issues. China's country garden has reiterated its inability to meet all of its offshore debt obligations as the grace period for a $15 million coupon payment expired. Oh, that puts China's biggest private property developer on course for its first ever default. But the embattled developer says it hopes to seek a holistic solution to, resume, uh, to resolve existing difficulties. Country Garden, whose $187 billion in total liabilities make it one of the world's most indebted builders, had to pay the coupon by the end of a 30-day grace period. Failure to do so would trigger a default and restructuring. The firm has about $10 billion of dollar notes outstanding and will be one of the country's biggest ever restructurings. That threatens to send China's housing sector into deeper turmoil as it has several times the number of projects of troubled developer Evergrande Group.